Rather than making edits to a document, comments can be inserted to remind yourself of issues that have not been confirmed or to draw a collaborator's attention to an area of concern. The modern comment experience allows you to draft the text of a comment before posting it to the document. If you are collaborating in real time with another author, your comments will not be seen until posted. There are several ways to insert a comment. One method is to select some content and click on the Comment button on the Insert tab. Or if the Comment command appears on the mini toolbar, click on it to create a new comment. The default setting places comments inside a bubble to the right of the document. Begin typing to insert text into the bubble. The comment is not saved or visible to others until it is posted. Click on the arrow or press Control Enter. The full range of options for working with comments is found on the Review tab. From the Comments group, you can add or delete comments or navigate through them one by one. Earlier, we used the mini toolbar to add a comment. You can also click on New Comment from the Review tab. Again, click on the arrow or press Control Enter to post the comment. There are two options for displaying comments, contextual or list. Contextual comments appear in the right margin as close to the insertion point in the text as possible. To change the view to list, click on the Show Comments dropdown. Selecting List View opens the Comments pane and places all comments together in a list format. The currently selected comment appears with a border around it. To toggle back to the contextual view, select it from the Show Comments dropdown or click on the Comments shortcut. This button is a toggle between the two views. In contextual view, each comment is placed as close as possible to the relevant text. The currently selected comment shifts toward the text and displays a border around it. When collaborating with other authors, they may insert new comments or reply to yours. If the topic has been discussed and no further input is needed, you have two options. You can delete the comment and lose the history, or mark it Resolved, which maintains a record of the thread. Click on the ellipsis in the upper right corner of the bubble. Resolved comments appear in the Comments pane with the status indicated at the top of the bubble. However, when shown in contextual view, resolved comment bubbles are not displayed. Instead, the comment icon has a check mark to indicate it is resolved. Individual comments can be deleted by clicking on the ellipsis in the upper right corner of the bubble, or additional options are found in the comments group on the review tab. If a comment is actively selected, click on the delete button. For additional options, click on the drop down. In this case, we want to delete all resolved comments. Note what happens to the resolved comment icon when this option is selected. When working in contextual view, you may find it easier to navigate through the comments using the next and previous commands in the comments group. In list view, all comments are listed in the order in which they appear in text. This makes it easier to review and respond to posts, but does not provide immediate visibility into the related text. As shown earlier, comments can be marked Resolved. To reopen a resolved thread, click on the Undo icon in the comment bubble. Additional information can now be added to the thread. If modern comments are not enabled, or if you want to disable them, Open the Options dialog to the General page. Check or uncheck the Enable Modern Comments box and click on OK to save the change. 